Welcome to SAP HCM Personnel Calculation Rule PCR Training Course. But this course is designed for SAP HCM HR functional consultants who have not received much exposure to PCR personnel calculation rules. This course will help the consultant gain knowledge in PCRs and by the end of this you will be able to create custom PCRs on your own. By the end of this course you will be able to read standard PCR rules and its functions, update schemas for different PCRs, design PCR logic and create custom PCR. In this course we will cover standard rules such as X010, X013, X930, X015, XVL, XPPF, X023. Furthermore we will touch upon how to create valuation basis and finally we will create 4 custom PCRs. Introduction PCRs can be designed using object operations. SAP has provided standard operations which can meet most of the requirements. Available operations can be viewed in PEO4. In any case, if the SAP provided operations don't meet the requirement, then custom operations can be created to meet the requirement. Now, let us see in which scenarios custom PCRs would be required. Meet our SAP HCM consultant, Helen. She is going to receive a call from the client regarding a new requirement. Hello, Helen speaking. How may I help you today? Hi, Helen. This is Charles from ABC Limited. Hello, Charles. How are you doing today? I am doing good, thanks. Listen Helen, I have received a new requirement from our business unit. From now on, all employees who have completed 5 years with our organization is eligible for additional pay component, which will be 25% of the basic pay. Okay, but Charles, we do not have any such configuration to accommodate this request. However, we can create a custom PCR with which this rule will work. That's great. I will send you complete details through email. Please keep me posted on further updates. Oh, in this transaction, we have seen Mr. Charles from ABC Limited talking to Helen about the new requirement. Similarly, even in the real-time scenarios, you will be receiving such requirements from the client. So this course will help you enhance your PCR skills so that you can read, understand and write PCRs. If you observe info type 1 have two records splits are different time events in one single period this employee belongs to monthly payroll and hence should have one single record however there can be cases where in a single period you may have mid period organizational change Now let us identify the change which has created a split. If you closely observe the records there is a change in the business area. Thus this is the reason for the split. For this employee effective 15th of the month business area was changed. So in such cases system creates different records for each split. The reason being based on the change in the employee's data system will be able to identify the calculation and the payments that are to be generated for the employee. Now let us go back to rule X010.
Next step is 0 equal to n. In this step rule we'll add 0 to the number field. This is done to ensure that no value exists in the number field so that it will not affect the hourly rate calculation in our next rule that is rule x013. Finally the amount is added to wage type slash 001. This is the wage type which will hold base amount for further calculation. Also note that every wage type will have three fields that is rate number and amount field. These are the main fields around which most of the calculation takes place. It is not mandatory to have all fields updated. However, either of them is required for the calculation to take place. So this is what rule X010 does. It transfers the amount to single or multiple technical wage types which will be used in rule X013 for calculating the rate. Now let us look us rule X013. If you observe in parameter 2 again P01 is given. It means that even this rule is completely based on processing class 1. This rule is only calculated for technical wage types such as slash 001 slash 002 and so on. Other wage types will be directly transferred to the output table without any calculation. Let's go back to table V underscore 512 W underscore D and check the configuration. Go to slash 001. Now if you see for slash 001 under processing class 1 specification is 5. Also note that this specification will only be selected for technical wage types. Just like previous rule, here system first checks employee subgroup grouping wage type and then the processing class. Processing class is queried with operation VWTCL. In this PCR system first checks for the specification under processing class. If you observe, there are only two options that is 